Diva Doll Flawless. In today's video, I am going to share what a typical deli spread looks like for me and my digital planner. The planner that I use is from Breezy Organization on Etsy and it's her undated farmhouse deli life planner. And when I open up GoodNotes 5 on my iPad Pro, this is normally what it looks like. I'm almost always in a split screen. And when I'm doing my deli spread, I definitely like to work like this because I can just drag and drop things from one day to the next and it doesn't take me very long to plan, especially when I have a lot of things that I know for sure are always going to be switched from one day to the next. And then if I have time, I will do this for a couple of days out of the week when I do my weekly planner. Now, on the left, that's what the cover of this planner looks like. And then um, on the right, this is for today. And I'm going to go ahead and maximize this screen so that we can take a look at it. So first and foremost, most of the time when I do start with my deli planner, I almost always take a reference back to my weekly spread. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. And you can click on that by going right at the top and where it says week one through six, you just click on the week that you're looking for. I already have mine planned out. And again, when I do my weekly spreads, I like to put certain things on there that I definitely have to get done no matter what. And then the more detailed things I'll do on my deli spread. So a lot of times I'm referencing back and forth to make sure that the must do's got planned on here and then any additionals are going in the deli. So this is what this particular weekly spread looks like. And I did do this weekly spread twice because we this was a August into September week. So... The first thing that you will see on here is at the top, that's a cleaning zone widget. And then I just customized it and put each different room that I wanted and then saved it to my elements. So I always have this. So this is something that absolutely has to get done because on these days, that's the specific room that I want to focus on deep cleaning. Now, in addition to that one room, I also have other small deli cleaning tasks that I like to focus on so that my house for the most part all the time is looking presentable. I just can't function and clutter. I, it's just, I can't do it. So therefore I have to have a clean house, office, all of that stuff all the time. Now, everything that you see here is from her Etsy shop, it's her farmhouse stickers, her widgets, her mini widgets, her icon pack, and her September sticker pack. So from here, what I will do is I'll go to my day that I'm currently working on. And then from there, I'll just, you know, again, double check. I took a lot of personal stuff off. So I'll just go back and do that when I'm done. Now, Starting at the top, I always lasso the date in, so I'm not even wasting time doing that. I just change what number it is and keep it moving. On this particular day, my top three are the hair appointment and nail appointment for my youngest daughter. They do not go to the salon. I'm totally responsible for their beauty regimens. So because it can be very time consuming, I like to split their days up. One, it allows me to focus solely on that individual, like that particular uh, daughter that I'm working with. And we'll have a little girl talk if there's a specific show that they want to watch on the iPad while I'm doing their hair. Um, then we do that. So it gives me that one-on-one -on -one time with my daughter and it also doesn't make it as <laughs> stressful when I am trying to do two heads of hair, two manicures, two pedicures, in addition to everything that I have to do for my own beauty, um, uh, beauty regimen. And then wax, that's for me. I do my own waxes. So that's my reminder that, you know, that's what I need to do on this day. Another thing that I keep track of in the today slot are my fitness things. So my weight, I do that on a daily basis. I track my weight and also I like to try to plan out workouts. Now, sometimes the workouts will change. Sometimes I'll say, you know what, instead of doing that, I want to do a different one. But these are the workouts that I want to do on this particular day. So 
Jane Kate is Jane Kate Fitness. A couple others that I absolutely love are And Eight Fitness. They do a lot of dance routines. There's Grow With Joe. I love her walking workouts. And then there's Jerrica from Body By Days with Jerrica. She does walking workouts. So between the four of them, my weight loss journey has been awesome. And I do every last one of their workouts at the gym because I do take my iPad with me. So I will incorporate their workouts in addition to anything else I might do for the gym that day or even at home. So on the bottom left here, we have the water tracker. ACV is apple cider vinegar. I do that every single day, three times a day, whether it's liquids or, um, gummies and then my supplements so i always make sure that i track those because that is a must do every single day the water tracker was a widget that she had the apple cider vinegar i kind of cropped that and just made a widget of my own from her things so the take vitamins is also one of her stickers and then the buffalo check is from nawashi i just cropped it and you know made that so that's a permanent widget that i just transfer every single day the next one is the cleaning deli to do this was pre-filled in I, again i just cropped it and you know played around with it in good notes and made it what i need to do so these are my deli to do's make my bed empty the dishwasher do a small load of laundry and then wdf is wash dry fold so i <laughs> because sometimes believe it or not i will start a load of laundry and forget to put it in a dryer and i can't stand when i do that but i'm doing so much that you know i want to make sure that i definitely did wash dry fold or hang it Take out the trash once daily. Take out the recycling once daily. Load the dishwasher. That's normally a nighttime thing. Wipe the kitchen counters, appliances, the table. Those are something that have to get done daily multiple times. <laughs> and then um, sweep and vacuum the kitchen. That's normally a nighttime thing. Sweep the master bathroom. That's pretty much just me reminding myself to go in there and check my master bathroom. My husband has his own bathroom. I have my own. And then our kids have their own bathrooms. And it's a lot to keep track of. But I, you know, try to do my pop-ins in each one because everyone manages their own bathrooms. And, you know, so that's just one of those things that I, it's a like a mental note for me to make sure I go in and do and then vacuum in the living room that's normally again at the end of the night nighttime thing adjusting pillows blankets and all of that now my kids do have daily chores that they must do so this is just me making sure that it got done whether it's me or the kids it doesn't matter and then for the notes it's a thing that I like to make sure I'm on top of because I do make my own uh, all-purpose cleaner so that check cleaner bottles means that I'm just double checking that all of the bottles in the house are full. Everyone has what they need so that they can do it. And if I need to refill it, I'll check my recipe and refill it. And then to check the cleaning towels again, sometimes we'll forget and the cleaning towels will be like, oh, there's no cleaning towel. So I have to do a load. So I like to keep a track of that. So that never happens. And they're all, there are always clean <laughs> clean cleaning towels okay <laughs> but you know what I mean by that so then we have my devotion that's something I like to do multiple times throughout the week even if I don't do my devotion it just reminds me to do at some point have some time with God and I love to keep track of scriptures and my thoughts especially if it was something that really stood out to me within my devotion and if you would like for me to talk about something or the things that I use for my devotion. I can do that in a separate video. And then there's Dear Diary, It's Me Again. These are all widgets that she has in her shop. So I like to do like maybe a roundabout of my thoughts for that day. If I can remember, sometimes I'm just too tired. I just go over this and make sure it got done. Um, but again, it's there just in case I need to um, maybe put down something that really stood out to me. Okay. So, and I would like to, that's just something in addition that I want to be able to do. Again, there's other personal things that I snatched off of here. Uh, but I'm doing my filming my deli spread now. So that is on there. And then as far as block scheduling, these are the main three things that needs to go on here every day so that I can make sure that 
they're getting done. Most of the time, my block scheduling will change. So I try to leave that alone until the morning of and or the day of just in case if while I'm doing certain things, there's like, okay, at this point, I need to stop and get this done or go here or whatever it is. Then I'll fill in those blocks like that. That's just what pretty much works for me. But if I know the day before there are certain things that have to get done at a certain time, then I'll fill in my block scheduling. So that's pretty much a look at how I utilize my deli spread for my digital planner. Hopefully this was something of interest to you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a gorgeous day, doll. Smooches. Bye.